everyone, my name is Lorik, this is the Drake's Horde, and welcome back to Enderol the Forgotten Stories. It's been about a week since my last video, uh, playing some Sekiro. <laughs> uh, I wanted to start this back up again, um, I hope I can remember how to do everything, like I said, it's been a week. I'm still currently house-sitting, though today is my last day, if people also watch my uh, Sekiro, Sekiro videos, um, they'll know that I'm house-sitting and I'm taking care of puppers, so you might hear some barking or whining in the background, it's just simply uh, a, a big overgrown pupper and a little dog that I'm taking care of, so hopefully that doesn't become too obstructive. Um, so, if I recall correctly, last time, uh, we found the strong box, and after we found the strong box, we also found a key that goes somewhere, and now we need to go talk to Alfred. Hopefully he can shed a little bit more light on his, uh, friend that, uh, went crazy and blew up a school <laughs> and all that wonderful stuff. And then we have to go talk to Jaspar about everything. Um, I did say I might do a, uh, a side thing where I, like, go through some of the books that I read. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that right now. Now, I think I'm going to do that uh, as like a side episode that will probably come out uh, after this one. I don't know when I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, just just look forward to something like that. I really, I really like the books that you can find in this. Because, uh, well, it, books you can find in Skyrim in general simply because, uh, wish that cheese wasn't spoiled. Simply because they add to the lore, and, ooh, found some good mead. Add to the lore, they, oh, I, oh, oh, anyway, <laughs> they, they add to the lore, and they make things so much more interesting. Yeah, so anyway, um, I think I should take a quick look at my map. Also, sorry about last episode and how the volume's kind of crazy. Um, if I, like, I guess if I read books again, I guess I have to turn off the environmental sound and everything because for some reason the rain was so freaking loud and the storm was so freaking loud that it covered up most of what uh, Yarrow's voice actor was talking about when he was uh, reading everything. So, yeah, um, I might I might redo it if it'll replay the the audio files. Um, I might just do that as a one-off as part of the book thing. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> we don't run into very many issues again. It's just uh, one thing after another so far. So. Um, I need to go talk with Alfred, which appears to be in that general area, which means I'm going to have to go, either I'm going to have to skip past everything going this way, or I think, I think maybe I'll just follow the road. Um, generally there's more interesting things on the road. If you go off the beaten path all the time, they end up you end up missing a lot of things. But I guess you also end up finding some cool things as well. Um, yeah, I guess I guess I could take a look at a few things, but I want to go on the road. I think. 
think I do anyway. Well, yeah, let's, uh, over here. Um, I also apologize if, uh, I don't play as well as I was. Uh, it took me a little bit to figure out the controls, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna take me a little bit to do it again. It's been a, it's been a little bit since my last video, so, for, for this specifically. Pentus House of Discord. Well, I'm taking that with me. Um... I don't, I don't think I'm going to go too far in this direction. I think I'm just going to go back on to the road and uh, see what I can find on the road. I might, I might do a lot more exploring like later. take salmon in and I didn't take the actual salmon. Usually doesn't who did someone light themselves on fire? Did someone burn that guy? Oh I have way too much stuff on me. Um I need to figure out how to store stuff. weighty thing here. So the bow is kind of weighty. The Popo is not happy that I have him in his little corner of the house. Uh, makes a lot of noise by running around and everything. He can you can just deal with it for now. I only record these for an hour anyway. Whatever. Anyway, let's let's not make this too long scribbled parchment. Told Ladia that the bandits could become dangerous, but she will not leave this place. These bastards watch her house every night. Oh. That's that's kind of depressing. Soul gem. Get back on that road. Sorry, I I, I really do liking like making detours. I know you guys have to put up with it, but I don't know. It's it's an adventure kind of game, and I really like to explore. What's this? Anything? There's a shovel. There's more. Uh, let's 
summon our puppy. have like it is am i taking the skull like out of their body is that what's going on here it's it's a little creepy how i can just take people's skulls that merchant the other way I came, but I don't want to head back all the way over there just to sell stuff to her. I may have to, though. Gosh darn it. Let's, let's drop that. Yeah, I really want to make sure that I at least have some of the more expensive things on my person. Okay, so we're back on the road again, and just turn around. Okay. Let's eat something real quick. Uh, this, yeah. Salmon. Oh, that's lovely. Can't interact with it, but yeah, that's that's nice. been bumbling around. Eh. 
and these places usually have bandits, and like, just sitting there. Curious and whatnot. Oh, no. Why didn't that work? I saved before I got down here. Um, this is what happens when you're not prepared. <laughs> oh no! It auto saved me down here. Quite a bit. Divine Shield rank one. Oh, that's like it's like oak flesh. So we can actually give ourselves some ar like some magical armor. That's actually really nice. Um that away for now. Gosh darn it, I have to drop some more stuff. Sorry that I'm, like, taking the time to go and do all that wonderful stuff. Okay. Um, hopefully this doesn't... Oh, what's over there? Hopefully this doesn't, uh, just... take me through the whole bowels of this place. Um... And uh, oh, there's a lot of mushrooms to it. And that's a troll. Oop, wrong thing. Oh, I made the mistake. Um, uh, do should always favorite that. Equip it. And then equip the ghostly wolf because you really want to have something distract him.
Oh, I just have to be more careful. I can't I can't treat this like Skyrim. Skyrim is so much easier compared to this game. It's a lot more forgiving. <laughs> I still don't like trolls in Skyrim, but yeah, it's pretty bad. Okay, so I know I'm probably going to regret this because Going after the crystal is, like, not the best thing. Um, what's over here? There's stuff. Um. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, pick it all up. Grab it. Grab it. Get out of here. <laughs> Okay, whoop. So, Divine Shield, Ghostly Wolf, whoop. Activate our little ability that makes it so much easier. Summon the Wolf. Get out Flame Bite. Sonic Push. I actually haven't used that spell yet, but... Why is it running away? start increasing my health later, but mana is what I really want at the moment. Okay. I just have to be really careful. And again, I'm sorry for any of the dogs. Oop. Don't keep pushing into me. <laughs> the wolf was like, no, you have to go this way. Um, Oh gosh, darn it. Why are there trolls all over in this place? What I also wouldn't do for a light spell at the moment, because I can't I can't wield torches when I'm wielding like two different spells at once. And I'm over encumbered again. This is why I should really think about selling stuff as soon as I find another per oh, another person to sell stuff to. I have boots. Really good boots. Blazing spark. Bolt of Lightning does 18 shock damage, half as, much, half as much mana damage. Mage Light! Yes! Awesome! I don't need the Ruin Book, but I might take these gauntlets. And let's just shove stuff into this. I really don't want to drop that off, but... You know what? We we need to just get rid of stuff. <laughs> Goat. Okay, so I now have more magic. Awesome. Uh, blazing spark. I don't think I have that already, do I? I'm just making sure. I have grounding, okay. So, Blazing Spark and Mage Light. So, let's favorite Mage Light and Blazing Spark. Let's 
So let's look at both of those spells real quick. Blazing Spark and Mage Light. Awesome. Kind of what I expected from this. And this is what I was talking about. Because some of these areas, they like change the lighting and everything. It's hard to see in some of these areas, not necessarily in here. But definitely in some of those darker areas. Now I'm just blinding myself with it. <laughs> okay. Um, what I really wish that spell did was like put it above your head instead of like out in front of you. the way out again. Oh, let's follow my compass. There we go. Okay, let's just get out of here and let's continue on our journey instead of getting sidetracked. <laughs> this mage has got to find more stuff and find our, uh, that guy we're supposed to talk to. Turn left a little bit to get back on the road. This place is just rampant with bandits, undead, and trolls. And wolves. A lot of wolves. Too many wolves. Why don't they have someone come in here and take care of the wolf problem? And the bandit problem, for that matter, but... I think the rain is causing me to dip in frames a little bit. Where... Am I? Um, there's a pig. There's a little boy. Hey, you there! Yes, you! Do you want to know a secret? Um, maybe? What do you mean? Well, I found something. Something really, really awesome. But I need help from somebody as tall and strong as you. How about it? I show you what I mean, and you promise to help me in return. What do you say? I don't... I don't think I'm really strong, kid. Um, I might know magic, but that doesn't equate to strength. Why are you exactly asking? What are you? What? Are, why exactly are you asking me and not your parents? I'm a complete stranger, and you could, and could be dangerous. Dangerous? I, hmm, I don't know. You wouldn't be as close to the village and to the guards then, would you? And I don't want Daddy and the others to find out about it. That would spoil the surprise. Um, except what happens if I was a really powerful individual and didn't care about the guards? Uh, could you be a little bit, a little more specific? What did you find? I'll show you in a moment, but first, you have to promise to help me. Come on, don't be a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I guess it's the quest of distractions from our main mission. Um, all right, I'll help you. Show me the awesome. secret. I knew you'd say yes. Come, follow me. Oh my gosh! They have little ones! I'm guessing those are the piglets. They didn't... Piglets don't normally look like that, like all proportion like that, but that's still adorable. They're just tiny. Chicken coop. Wait, can I get an egg from the chicken coop? Nope, okay. Of 
course. Totally trying to steal from the chicken coop. Or mana fungi. Um, blazing spark. Don't mind if I do, because that still costs quite a bit of money. Is there someone I can sell my stuff to here? Because I might do that before I... You know what? I'm going to check. I'm going to check if there's someone here that I can possibly hawk my wares off to. Even if it's just like a few things. Because I'm sick and tired a foreigner, huh? of carrying this stuff around. I'll go see the boy in a minute. and stuff. Am I here? Oh, this place is kind of big. Mark is that direction. There's a bunch of guards. Riverville. Yeah, I, I'm at Riverville and that's like a farm outside. Who are you? Yes? <laughs> what is this? Some kind of scam to lure me into a dark alley? Forget about it, Eterna. I know you're kind. Now shove off. What? Are... <laughs> that's, that's kind of racist. <laughs> of course. Especially to people of your kind. Now excuse me. I have to go. Ouch. I, I'm not even, like, full elf. I'm, like, a half elf, apparently. Um... I don't want to st- Eterna ears? What? What do you need? Oh, a lot. Tell me if something catches your eye. How much money do you have, friend? He has 437. Um, what are you willing to buy from me? Not very much. Walk blessed. Things that I'm not willing to sell you any- <gasps> What is this? You found a secure chest. Items which you place in a secure chest can't be lost or stolen. You can find the Oh, thank goodness. You know what? I'm going to put the most expensive stuff I have in there. Because screw this. Um, yeah, I don't need these on my person. I don't think I'm going to be able to sell them really easily. I'm going to shove that in there. In fact, I'm just going to shove all the tools I have on my person in there. Okay. So... Why am I not wearing... Did I just get those? I think I just did. So, let me shove some of the more expensive stuff in there. I want to keep those, but I don't want them on my person. I don't need that on my person. At the very least, I can just shove most of this stuff into here. Thank goodness. I'll, I'll probably, like, in between recordings, I'll find some place to sell them, but I am not willing to go through that right now. But, oh my gosh, that is a big load off of my back. That is so nice that they put that, put this in this game. Um, yeah, I'm going to put those on, because that's really nice. I'm just going to shove the Vagrant Boots in there. Okay. I don't need all of those on me. I don't need that on me. I don't need 
that on me. I'm just gonna sell a bunch of this stuff later. Okay. So, I have all these potions, I have these scrolls. I'm thinking maybe I should shove my books in here. Or at the very least, shove uh, any duplicates that I have in there. I don't need these with me. These are going to be sold later. I don't need a duplicate on me. Okay. So, I think... Oh! Um... How much weight do I have on my person? I think... Yeah, I'm going to shove these tools in there. They're tools, and they're listed as tools. I just don't know if they're going to be all that useful to me. Funny thing, I really, I really thought you could like read these and you could just have like a new blueprint on your person. Um, yeah, let's shove the skulls in there. I don't know why I have them on my person, but I guess we do. Uh, shove that in there. I'm gonna keep the other things that I can sell on my person. So I'm gonna shove all these blueprints in there. I don't need them on my person. If I really need to, I can come back and get them. Um, yeah, just shove it all in there. All of it. I'm not going to need soul gems right now. I have a lot of crud on my person. I think I'm going to keep the shovel on me. Man, I have so much random stuff on my person. I'm, I'm sorry I'm a hoarder. I don't mean to be. Okay. That is a huge weight off my back. So I don't have to worry about that at the moment. Okay. So... Sure, I'll accept a quest like that. But anyway, I need to go talk to this person. Hello there. What the? Oh. I'm so used to wolves running at me. Okay. Um, Hi, Alfred. Uh, who are you? Just a traveler. You are Alfred, right? The childhood friend of a man named Yero? Yeah, the guy who blew himself up along with a bunch of other people. Uh, Yero, I... Uh, this is about his death, isn't it? Uh, the rampage. You've heard about it. Of course, who hasn't? Yero was one of us, after all. It is... terrible. Simply terrible. Uh, you want to hear an old man's opinion, though? I... I always expected that something like this would happen. Malthus, forgive me for talking about a keeper like that, but... it's the truth. You mean you saw it coming how? Hard to explain, really. Come on, let's find somewhere to sit. Uh, it'll be easier to talk that way. Oh, he, he actually wants me to sit down. Okay. Well, Yarrow. Yarrow. That's quite a subject, you know. You were right when you said we were best friends. Our fathers knew each other, but as long as I can remember, Yarrow and I were getting into trouble together, at least until his mother died. Not of old age, I assume. No. Bandits killed her in 
broad daylight on, on Penny Road. Today, these incidents are common, but not back then. The road was considered safe. Very safe. Yeah. Too Sergeant common. Major Park, accompanied by three other women, and they were set upon at the pass. None of them survived. Yarrow was shattered. I think the worst part was how his father went downhill after his wife's death. The fishery decayed, and the poor guy filled his days with boozing and sleeping. It changed Yero forever. Yeah, um, how exactly? He did blow himself up. Well, that's a good question. On the one hand, he became a man, despite his tender age. On the other hand, something inside him woke up, so to speak. A desire to make more of his life. Old Mother Jellica noticed it and took him under her wing. He learned how to read and write, and soon he knew all the holy verses by heart. When he didn't have to help his drunken father, he helped in the village as much as he could. That was nice of him. He transferred her... He transformed his grief into productivity. Sounds like a rather positive development. Until he blow, blew himself up. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just... Someone that goes crazy and, like, makes themselves uh, detonate, um, harming a bunch of other people, is, I don't know, not necessarily... Someone just doesn't go to that insane out of nowhere. Of course... It could have been caused by, like, a magical development or something else, but, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's kind of weird. Indeed, that's one way to look at it. It wasn't long before he was the, the jewel of the village, the striving young fisherman destined for great things, even though he was only on the path of a manufacturer. And then the inevitable happened. A keeper of the order came to Riverville to see the prodigy with his own eyes. And behold, in addition to Yero's ingenuity, he also had a slumbering magical talent. The keeper took him away, and a few months later, he started his novitiate. Since then, I've only seen him once or twice, as he rarely visited Riverville. I, I don't think he ever noticed how much that hurt me. Well, I, I'm sorry, man. You see, you seem like a nice individual. Um, is it that uncommon for someone on the manufacturer's path to get a chance to become a keeper? Uh, I don't think so, from what our little alchemist friend said before bandits came after us. <laughs> if one of the manufacturers makes it to Sergeant of the Guard, it's reason enough for a bard song. He must have been the first novice in centuries who was not of the sublime path. So yes, sir, it is uncommon. More than that. So what did you mean by, I always suspected something like this would happen? Oh, it's hard to explain. I believe it was the way he was talking about his grand plans. How he wanted to make the world a better place to become the greatest keeper since Lorem Waterblade. Underneath all this, there was a... there was an anger. An anger mixed with deep grief and disappointment. Uh, I don't think he was aware of it because he drew all his strength from that anger. The strength to do all this, to, to learn and to work day and night, but it frightened me, like the Blue Death. It slumbers inside the pathless mage who believes he can master magic without the Order's help. At first, it grants power, but then, one day, it bursts out in an unholy wave of destruction, turning him into one of the monsters in the old songs. <sighs> anyway, I'm just an old man. What do I know about these matters? Now let me go to sleep. All these memories are making me weary. Alright, thanks for your help. Yes, of course. Oh, well, I, 
I'm sorry to him. That's kind of sucky to have your friend go out like that and, uh... Basically, like, become estranged from you because they just stop being interested in their old life. Um, anyway, uh, I guess... I guess since I did that real quick, I guess we can help the little kid with his issue. always amazes me like how beautiful they actually made everything especially in this mod like I thought Skyrim looked pretty good for its time they they did like really good things with this mod I know a lot of work went into this and a lot of collaboration between uh, so many different people and like a bunch of different mods actually went into this big, huge mod. I think I'm gonna get rid of these crabs. <laughs> I don't need an epic takedown cam for taking down the crab. Thank you. I guess after I talk with the kid, I should also uh, spend my my point on my skill tree to. Oh, I found this yesterday when I was searching for shells. Awesome, isn't it? Well, it's a casket. Yes, and you know what? If you shake it, you can hear a rattling, as if there are coins in it. All we need to do is break it open. Then we can split the loot, and I could give Daddy the money for the pointy beard man. So what do you think? I've already tried to open it, but it just won't budge. Pointy beard man? Yeah, that man from the big city, who always comes after a moon turn. He wants money from the farmers. Daddy says he works for this jank or board or something like that. You mean landlord, so I take it your daddy owes his landlord money. Yeah, I think so. He always tries to make us think everything is okay, but I'm not stupid. And maybe there are enough pennies in this box for Daddy to pay the pointy beard man. Who knows? <sighs> yeah, but that would only delay the inevitable. He would have to figure out how to make more money so he could continue paying his landlord. Okay, let me have a try at sure. that. So, I'm guessing... Let you try the lock going open. Won't open. Um, real quick. Showed me a casket of a just like a watch of it's never open the rusty casket. No matter what you try, the lock won't open. I hit it. Yes, awesome. Let's see what's in there. <laughs> that's that's really interesting. Um, I what is I wasn't expecting attacking it to actually work. Hmm. Oh come on, what is that? What is there it? There aren't any pennies, only these weird nails and a piece of paper. Here, take a look for yourself. Weird nails. Oh, spare parts. Thank you very much. Uh, do do do. Is it the old note? Day and night it stands there, sublime, proud, full of power, giving blessings in time of need on our path until we die. So, does it say anything? It looks like some kind of poem to me. I'm not sure. A poem? Hmm. What if it's a riddle? That's what you grown-ups call it, don't you? What does it say exactly? 
Read out the oh, first one. Blushing in distress? That. Hmm. Oh, sugar. Why do you grown ups always have to talk Oh, so I think I read the wrong note. That is. Hmm. Wait. Father Bildus, the priest, he always talks about blessings at the sermons. Maybe, maybe the writer is talking about the shrine. The one behind our house. Quickly, you should go take a look over there. I have to go back to the farm to feed the Leors, but tell me at once if you find anything. Sure I will. Um... Yeah, did I read the wrong thing? I think I might have. Took it as blessing and distress, I think. Unless I, I'm wrong. Um. Hi! Hi! That's the little dog I was talking about. She wants me to pay attention to her right now. She's so adorable. Um. I think I'll try and complete this real quick. What is. Okay. The beginning of the current, a big stone with a raised tree in the west. And the next most serious. At the beginning of the current? Is it like a river? Is it like over here? Something's going on. My markings don't want to show up on the map for some reason. Eh, I'll figure that out later. I'm just going to have to use the map how it currently is. So, I think I have to head in this direction. Or maybe they don't allow you to mark the map anymore. Um, I thought I could earlier in this recording. Can't remember if it was a food or another item. Is this where I'm supposed to go? And it. Wait. Nope. Raised okay, bleak tree in the. Oh, wait. right there. I think I went the wrong direction. He's bleak tree. Wait, are we talking about... Ouch! Gosh darn it. Is 
with this wolf problem. They have a wolf problem and a bandit problem. I don't need to I don't need to deal with all of this. So you talking about this tree? I see stuff around here. Where's it over there? I just think I went the absolutely wrong direction. Yeah, let's let's get off of this and head that direction. Well, of course I'm going into a canyon. There might be bandits who might attack me out of nowhere. Get up there, come on. Darn it. They always come in like pairs of three. Where is it? Where is it? I don't need this. Gosh darn it. an apple and a pumpkin. Yeah, I really don't need the wolves coming out of the woodwork to mess me up every single time. Barracks. Oh! Berserker, regional legionary, okay. Essentially, more money in my pocket. Oh, I saw something else. Anyway, so let's get out of this freaking thing. Um, so it's talking about water coming from somewhere. I think it's actually talking about that. Because I saw a tree, yeah, I saw a tree in this direction. Of course, I could totally be wrong. If I am... I'm sorry. Oop. I 
I don't mean to be I'm just searching around. I'll, uh, I'll make my way over there. If it's not there, um, I'll try and find it in the next episode. Or at the very least, I'll get to like a high point and uh, see where I can go from there. I, I was over there. And it wants me to go to beginning of... Gosh darn it, I don't know... I don't know what it's necessarily talking about. The Gang of the Current, a big stone with a raised bleak tree in the west. Beginning of the Current. I think that's what it's talking about. Maybe I am just bumbling around. <laughs> People are screaming at me in their monitors. There is that. You know, I'll check that out. If it's not that, I'll go back to the tree. I'll look around a little bit harder. Just disappears. I think I was here before and I didn't take all this. Sleep for like an hour. Heal me up some. Gosh. Darn it. I don't like how it like disables your jumping if you run into something at an angle. It's kind of ridiculous. So I saw is that it. I think it is. It's not on. It's not on a bleak area. It's in the. It's kind of like the northwest. I know why they did this, it's so you couldn't scale anything that you wanted to, but it's still a pain in the butt. Oh, okay, never mind. Alright, you know what, I'm going back to that other tree. Um, I think... I think I'm going to sleep until the morning so I can see a little bit better. I don't think... Use the light if I don't have to. All right, so. There's that tree up there on the rock. There's a big crab over here. That needs to fry. I really wish she could take the meat from him. That'd be so nice. Heck, I don't even care if it looked like wolf meat or something stupid like that. Oh, there's a chest. And a potion! Okay. I think before I end this episode, I'm gonna put my, my point into something. There's that a bandit camp or something. Of course it is. That's always lovely.
let's uh let's take one of those even though it's gonna increase my stuff want the Karis and that's all I'm taking from you I have too much where are you just walked past them. I think I did. Where is he? He's like blending in. <laughs> Either that or I'm blind. Money, heart, ox arrows, all normal stuff. Helmet. I'm taking your helmet. What do you have in your camp? Cabbage? I'm taking your cabbage. Stu, I'm definitely taking those gloves. And the backpack. The apothecary satchel? Hmm. Okay. Let's see if I can rectify my mistake. So. There's a tree on a big rock. It is to the west of that point where the water starts. So, by all accounts, I should be in the area that it told me about. I'm taking that with me. Love me some ice claw, and I can mine. So, I should be in the area. I think. Of course, like I said, I could totally be on a wild goose chase and blind, for all I know. So... Come on, get up there. Okay, so I'm here. a desolate tree and by what I've seen it is I'm pretty sure not directly west of that but kind of west so wait if I looked in that direction I don't I don't see any desolate trees that, like, meet that description, though, in that direction. There's even, like, a bad stump over here. Am I not seeing it? When I saw those stairs, I'm like, oh yeah, it's totally over here, but I don't... I don't see anything except for that root. Am I, am I blind? I think this would be like the natural progression is like to go up here and like look around. There's stuff over here. Did I just not go forward enough? I... <sighs> I think that that's totally on me. I just I didn't go for I didn't go for uh far enough. Gosh darn it. Okay, sorry for wasting people's time. Dear Finder, if you read this, that means you found my legacy. Whoever you are, take it and use it for something meaningful. I repeat myself, meaningful. Under no circumstances will I give my daughters and their idiotic activities even a single penny of my hard-earned money. Okay. That's nice. So, I found it, which means I should go back to the boy and complete the quest. Um... Uh, we'll see what goes from there. Oh, oh. 
You're right. There was a treasure at the end of all these clues. A lot of coin. What? Really? That's awesome. How much was it? I get one half, you get the other. Give Silas half the money. It was a lot. Here, you should take it. That should be about half. Give Silas a third. It was a lot. Here, that should be about half. Sorry, kid, but I'm afraid I need the money for myself. It takes time to beat. I am not a jerk. Um, I think it's totally fine that he was the one who led me on this. And I think he deserves about half. Of course, I did do a lot of the work. No. He, I, I'm going to be a good Samaritan in this. He's going to get about half. Wow, this is so much. Man, I... You are awesome. Do you know that? Thanks a bunch. I really hope this is enough for the pointy beard, man. Come by any time if you want to talk, okay? You're a good person. And Mommy always says there are too few. Yeah. Anyway. I think I'm going to talk with the priest in the next episode. Uh, hopefully he stops. So, oh. And the AI freaks out. So. Um, I think I'm going to end it here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've basically been on the quest of uh, distractions and look shiny and been blind as a bat, just not been following things very well. Uh, I hope to get better at this game. It's very nice to look at, even though my settings aren't, like, extremely top-notch. My computer isn't very top-notch. But I'm sure uh, you guys will have a lot of fun, like, figuring out things with me. I've been having a lot of fun figuring things out. And, uh, hopefully we can figure out, like, the mystery behind all of this madness and stuff like that. Um, please, if you like the video, please like it. Uh, leave a comment down below. If you don't, please leave a comment down below how I can improve myself. Uh, I know I haven't been, like, the best at this. But, uh, yeah, any, any sort of... I I anything you can give me, I'll take, and I'll consider it, and stuff like that. Um, please also know that uh, I'm going to be doing more videos with more video games. Um, possibly D&D or other role-playing games. Um, I've been thinking about it. Uh, I just don't know what kind of format I would do for, like, D&D or other, like, pen and paper role-playing games or anything else like that. Um, I'd like to figure it out. Uh... And I hope you guys have a good day. Uh, goodbye.